Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, as I mentioned earlier, all four meteorologists in-house and some of the data that we've been pouring over all morning and all afternoon still pointing to a uh, significant nor'easter affecting our weather starting Friday morning through Friday night into at least the first half of Saturday. A lot to cover, some new information coming in. We've put it all together, and here's how it breaks down. First, we'll start with live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Just sort of set the stage because clearly if you have plans to be outdoors this evening and overnight, there are no weather problems. It's simple. It's just cold and dry. We're not seeing any precipitation had a couple of flurries try to come through earlier this afternoon but sunshine nice to see that glow on the western horizon during the five o'clock hour temperatures today well above freezing topped out in the mid to upper 30s temperatures now between roughly 35 and 37 so winter storm watch for the entire area by terminology that means six or more inches of snow likely Six is on the low side. It's very conservative. We think there'll be much, much more than six with a blizzard watch for the areas in red. Kent, Providence County, Bristol County and Boston to meet blizzard criteria. It's not so much the amount of snow, but rather wind speed and visibility. Bottom line, we have wind blown heavy precipitation on the way. What's tricky with the forecast is that for a time on Friday, it will not be all snow. Our southern suburbs and especially the south shore will probably be mixed with sleet and rain for a little while, perhaps as far north as Providence only to change back over to all heavy snow later Friday night into Saturday morning. So even those locations that mix a little bit, still substantial snowfall accumulations. That's why the amounts are a little lower, but still substantial along the south shore in anticipation of a mix with the sleet and rain for a while. But still, 6 to 12 inches of snow. Where it stays, all snow inland, especially north of Providence, on the order of 1 to 2 feet of snow. And it's obviously not often that we put in accumulation forecast like this together, but confidence is growing of substantial snow. More on Friday in just a second. In the meantime, temps in the mid 30s will head down into the um, teens during the overnight. Should turn much colder. A couple of flurries that tried to sneak through uh, late this afternoon, but you can see on the satellite photo, very quiet. Let's take it now into the future and tell you what, I'm going to skip Thursday because Thursday is just a sunny, cold and dry day. Let's start with Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning, the morning commute. The snow starts to work in. Now, initially, the snow is very light. Light blue indicates light snow. Noontime, you start to see some darker blues. Mid to late afternoon and towards the evening commute, the dark blues and purples indicating very heavy snow. Later Friday night, a little bit of mixing of sleet and rain along the south shore, but then it changes back to all snow late Friday night into the pre-dawn hours of Saturday morning. And as a result, substantial accumulations are likely. So for tonight, it's pretty quiet, clear and colder. Tomorrow morning, only 17 to start the day with sunshine, some clouds streaming in at 28 in the afternoon. So any, well, that should be Thursday and not Wednesday. You get the idea though. But any plans that you have to get ready for the storm, uh, tomorrow is a decent day. Major storm likely starting Friday morning. The worst is Friday evening, Friday night, Saturday morning. And the whole thing is ending by Saturday. Saturday afternoon as the storm tracks close enough to the coastline to give us substantial precipitation. Though we're going to watch that rain snow line very carefully Friday evening and into Friday night. As we take a look at your seven day future cast showing the decent weather for tomorrow. Let me talk about uh, in more detail some of the storm impacts. Well, for one, I think power outages are likely due to the weight of the snow and some of the strong wind that we're forecasting. This is something we haven't covered, but we'll do it now. Gust of 50 to 60 miles per hour. So the combination of both of these obviously will lead uh, to a poor travel on Friday and even Saturday. The first half of the day looks very stormy, lasting through the morning hours, blowing and drifting snow and the atmosphere may not clear out until actually Saturday evening and Saturday night. That will lead to better weather on Sunday, sunshine, cold and dry. Good weather for cleanup and a temperature at 34. You know, keep in mind, we're still 36 to almost 48 hours away. All the weather players that have to come together have yet to come together. In fact, the storm is not even on the map. It hasn't even formed yet. So bottom line, you want to check back with further forecasts, our tweets and our blogs to see how things play out. We may have to modify things a little bit, but as a whole, we feel as though a substantial storm is likely. We're all over it. Much more coverage ahead on Eyewitness News Live at